Hi, everyone, and welcome to uh, the Tuesday edition of Ask the Colorado Dreamhouse Team. I'm your host, Dan Palomino, coming to you live from Denver, Colorado, and I hope you're enjoying the fall. This is supposed to be one of the peak weekends to watch the leaves change here in Colorado, so if you don't have any plans, head up to the high country and check out those colors. Well, welcome to Ask the Colorado Dreamhouse Team. If you're new to the show, every Tuesday and Thursday, we try to answer all of your real estate questions. We try to give you a little information and strategy about what's happening in the market and get you the information you most want to know. If you're new again, you can leave a comment here on Facebook. We love comments. We love questions. We usually address them later on in future shows. Or you can call us at 720-446-6325 or team at Colorado Dreamhouse. And as always, if we can help you buy, sell, or invest in real estate, we're happy to do so. We just love to talk to you. So two things we like to accomplish every week in the show. One, a little market update, and two questions. First, what is the market update? Well, last week I told you about a new development called Sterling Ranch out in Douglas County, which is going to kind of be the new next mini Highlands Ranch. If you missed that post, you can go back and take a look at it and rewatch it. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a new development in Highlands Ranch called Crescendo from Shea Properties. And if you know Shea Homes, uh, Shea was the major developer for Highlands Ranch. There was 25,000 acres in Highlands Ranch that started a little over 30 years ago that Shea's been developing. And they're really down to their last piece of dirt. Their last piece of developable land, is even that's a word, uh, in Highlands Ranch. And it's a section that is kind of uh, around Lucent and Highlands Ranch Parkway or Lucent and Plaza Drive would be another corner. And uh, it's mostly going to be apartments and townhomes. And the townhomes are going to be called Crescendo. And they just started selling these. Well, actually what they did is they, they took priority numbers or handed out priority numbers so they could begin selling them. Now, Crescendo's models open up this weekend, September 30th. So if you want to go out to Highlands Ranch and look at these townhomes, they start at about $395 and they go up in base price till about $450. So $395 to $450 is kind of the base price. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Dan, base price, that means these are going to be really expensive by the time you put in all of the upgrades. Maybe, maybe not. I think that they'll probably top out really at only about 500. And the reason why I say that is because Shea, along with some other builders like Lennar, are following this new model where they're giving you very, very limited upgrades. So for instance, in the Crescendo product, there's only five upgrades uh, that you can do. And they kind of lump them in packages. So there's a good, better, and best package. So really, it's three options, right? You either take the good, which is what is included in the base price, or you upgrade to the better, which is the middle package, or you upgrade to the best. Uh, this is, again, a new push by home builders to try to include more and get out of this game that the public hates, which is, is this included? Is this included? Is this included? Nobody likes that game. So Shea, Lennar, a couple of other builders are trying to build everything into the base price with very few options or upgrades to pick. The homes are between 2,100 square feet and 2,400 square feet. They are on three levels. So if stairs are an issue, this might not be the property for you. But again, 2,100 to 2,400 square feet, 395 to about 450, really, really great price range. And if you've been around the Denver area at all, you know that this is one of the most difficult price ranges to get into. So we're seeing a lot of first time home buyers. We're seeing some empty nesters who want to uh, downsize. And what Shea did last Saturday was they held a lottery. And they asked everyone who was interested in buying a unit to come to the Southridge Rec Center, hand over a deposit check of $1,000 that just holds a place. You can get that back at any time. And then what they did is they had two boxes. The first box had everybody's name in it. Second box had numbers 1 through 84, because there were 84 people that handed over a $1,000 check waiting for one of these homes. And what they did is they picked the person's name out, that person walked up, and then put their hand in the box to pick their priority number. 
So everybody got assigned a number 1 through 84. Now, Shea is releasing 10 homes a month beginning October 7th. So the first phase of, I, I, let me correct myself, it's nine homes a month. So the first phase of nine homes is going to be released in October. So if you got a priority number of 50, 60, 70, you can kind of do the math. It may take you four, five, or six, seven months before your number's up to be able to pick a lot. So this is the fairest way that Shea could, Shea could do it uh, given all of the consumer demand. Uh, I hear that they had over 600 people interested in a project that was only for 200 units. Once more, I also want to you know, make you aware that Shea has made it very, very clear that they're not selling any of these townhomes to investors. So if your plan is, is to buy one and rent it, Shea's not having it. Shea's going to do everything they can to stop you from doing that. They only want to sell to people who are going to use this as a primary residence. And the question is, can they do that? And the answer is yes. If you want more information about Crescendo, make sure you contact us right here at the Colorado Dreamhouse team at the information on the screen. Dear Colorado Dreamhouse team, what is the best site to see up-to-the-minute homes coming on the market? Great question. Answer, recolorado.com. RE stands for real estate, recolorado.com. That is the consumer side of our MLS. So that's, you see the same thing we're seeing, except we have a little bit more additional information that you don't see. But that is the best up to the minute for active properties. Remember, everything that goes into RE Colorado then gets syndicated out to sites that you're familiar with, like Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, etc. So don't wait for it to get syndicated out to those sites. Get it up to the minute by checking REColorado.com. Dear Colorado Dreamhouse team, can you give me some examples of why you say your marketing is better? Yeah, I think we're on the technology edge that a lot of real estate agents um, are not at yet. And part of that is our director of marketing, Mike Rush. He's really, really a smart guy, and he knows what he's doing. But again, when I say cutting-edge technology, I'm talking about retargeting ads. I'm talking about mass emails to all 1 million real estate agents in the United States. I'm talking about uh, Google AdWords and Facebook AdWords and pay-per-click campaigns and retargeting. Uh, a lot of people don't know what this is. They don't know what the latest technology is, and they don't know how it goes on to sell their home. What happens is that the average realtor that comes and interviews to sell your home is probably wearing one too many hats. They're probably a seller's agent, they're probably a buyer's agent, they're probably the paperwork person, and they're probably the marketing person. That's not really the best scenario for you in selling your home. You need a guy like Mike Rush that's just dedicated to digital and print uh, in various other forms of marketing and that's all he does is spend time marketing your home online all day. You need a smart guy like Mike. We're really grateful he's on our team. Those are just a few of the reasons why we think our marketing is better. Dear Colorado Dreamhouse team, can you still close a home in 30 days with a loan or is it longer? We're telling everybody that the average is 30 to 45 days. Uh, the answer to your question is yes, you still can close a home in 30 days, and I know some lenders that do it and do it well. Um, it's tough, not because of the lenders not being able to get their act together and close on time. It's more about appraisals. Appraisals are still backlogged. There's still not enough appraisers. Appraisals still aren't getting done on time. And really, the time-consuming part of the loan is getting the appraiser out to the house, getting it through review, getting it to the underwriter, and getting the clear to close. So that's really the holdup. So 30 to 45 days is the norm. All right, we want to tell you about another home that we just put on the market. Go to coloradodreamhouse.com forward slash Copeland. It is 9045 Copeland Street. It's an awesome five-bedroom in Highlands Ranch. It's in the sub area of the Province Center, which is off Colorado Boulevard. Terrific area. Sits on about a 6,500 square foot lot with a three car garage. They've done a lot of nice updates um, and I think you're really, really going to like it. For those of you who've been waiting to get in the Highlands Ranch, price is $525. Go check out Copeland online and then go and set a showing to go see it. 
All right. Well, that's this week's show. Hope it's been informational and, inf uh, and helpful to you. Again, if you ever want to ask us a question, we're here to help. In the meantime, until Thursday, everybody have a great week.